I'm really courting disaster with this video, aren't I? Yeah, I think I am. Nonetheless, I felt like addressing this with the news breaking over the weekend that Jeepers Creepers is going to be getting a reboot. This is a franchise that I have very mixed feelings about. And to get the obvious out of the way, Victor Salva. We all know about his criminal past as a child abuser, how he molested a child actor on his very first film, Clown House, and was arrested for possession of child porn, and how he has gone to continue making movies despite that criminal past hanging over him. Yeah, that really does taint this franchise. I mean, I've said in a number of videos, I believe it is possible to separate out an artist's work from the person themselves, such as in a previous video where I spoke about the allegations being raised by Marilyn Manson. You can still enjoy his music, you can still admire and respect his achievements as an artist, but acknowledge what a trash human being he is. But with Victor Salva and Jeepers Creepers, it's a little harder. In no small part because in so many of his films, he practically revels in his past. He includes all these little lines of dialogue and little scenarios that they're going to seem uncomfortable if you don't know about what he is and downright offensive if you do. And that's one of the things that really just crippled the Jeepers Creepers franchise right out of the gate was that, you know, as soon as people knew about his past, this franchise didn't have a chance. And I will say personally, the fact that the reboot apparently has him off it creatively, that is a plus. If this franchise is going to have a chance of redemption, it's going to be in getting as far away from him as possible, because as long as he's involved, it is just going to hang over the whole film and franchise and anything else they do like a fart in an elevator. That said, he still owns the rights creatively. He may not be writing the script, he may not be directing, he may not even be producing, he's still going to be making money off this, and I believe that is going to cripple it for a lot of people. But separating all that out, focusing on Jeepers Creepers itself, the films, I actually think it's a marvelous concept. You know, it's best embodied by the titular character, the Creeper himself. You know, on the outward face, the character has all the tools to be like a classic horror villain. But yet, over the course of the three films that have been released, we, we never have been given a reason to get involved with this character. I mean, definitely he was jolting in the first film, but then in the second one, it was like, okay, so what is he? Where does he come from? Why is he on this, you know, feeding and hibernation cycle? And then the third film, they didn't even bother at all, as evidenced by the fact that it made its debut on c -Fi. And if there's anything that... You know, like the Jack to Review podcast could tell you, the Action Drunkie could tell you, that, uh, you know, the House That Screams could tell you that I'm a big advocate of. You never, ever go see Fee. Because when you go see Fee, all you're going to see is Fee sees. Yeah, I thought that up. Anyway, but, um, you know, for such a great concept, there is so much they could do with it that they've chosen never to explore. The franchise just totally stagnated from the first film on, and you, know, you got to give credit where it's due. The first film was actually pretty good for the debut of a new slasher villain, and it was suspenseful. It had incredible music and sound effects, and the Creeper made a big impact when you saw him. But from there, just nothing. But with all that said, you know, the fact that they had got reduced to being on c fee tells you how far the franchise fell, how fast for all the reasons stated above. And I'm just not completely sure there is any going back for it. Even if they were to get the rights away from Salva, I think its only real lifeline would be to go through other media like comic books and video games as opposed to another film. I just don't think a reboot is going to be able to wash that off of it. I mean, you could even argue for trying to pitch it like to Netflix or to Hulu or to Amazon Prime as a miniseries, but... All the things I've listed here, I think, are just going to make them say, no way, and they won't touch it with a 50-foot cattle prod. Which is all the more the pity for such a great concept that just never really got a fair shot. So, personally, I'm not enthused. And realistically, as much as it may be disappointing to say, 
Jeepers Creepers, I think, is a franchise that just needs to be put out of its misery and its scripts thrown back in the vault where they belong. To uh, cap off, I actually also want to apologize for my previous video where I viewed Willy's Wonderland and the audio was a total disaster. Uh, I tend to post my videos in too much of a rush because I have a pretty busy schedule outside of my layer. And as I was, as I was recording that video, little did I realize that um, one of the hell beasts that I have chosen to so graciously give shelter here in my lair was chewing through my microphone cable. You might notice I'm not wearing the clip microphone in this video. I'm back to my old one. That will be addressed, and I will be re-recording that video in the near future. So I want to thank you all for your patience, and particularly a shout-out to Reaper's Horror, who uh, brought that to my attention. I really should have noticed it beforehand. I am such a putz at this. I'm trying, though. I'm trying. So, as always, folks, you know, be drinking be scary. Watch out for each other. You know, wear your gloves, wash your hands, wear your mask. The weather's starting to improve. We're heading into spring, so hopefully things will get better. I'll see you next time, folks.